Hi, I'm Alexis from Staffordshire Wildlife Trust. I'm the wild well-being lead there, and thanks so much to Aiming High Funding, we get to do a series of videos that will hopefully improve your mental health and well-being, particularly around that really difficult time of transition from your weekday into your weekend. It's tough for kids, it's tough for grown-ups, so I'm going to see if we can't make it a little bit easier by sharing some hints and tips. Last time I mentioned how important it is to know and stick to your routine. I also mentioned setting simple goals, and a great way to do this is to use the five ways to well-being, almost like a tick list. As a reminder, let me breeze through those again. They are to be active, to take notice, to give, to keep learning, and to connect. Let me start with some ideas about connecting. It's easy to forget that we're part of nature and connecting to something outdoors can really perk us up and gently remind us that we're important. I recently spent some time connecting at a local nature reserve. I'm sat underneath a yew tree and yew trees are known for being planted in um, cemeteries and they're known for being really, really old. They have been getting planted for centuries at places that people have felt are a bit magical and this tree because of its age and because of the way it grows it does indeed feel magical it's an evergreen tree I'll show you I just see some of the branches there and look at the bark And the roots, there we go, come into focus. They're amazing trees. They'll grow bright red berries, and those are poisonous, so it's important not to touch or eat those. But the tree itself is amazing. Why don't you try to find a tree that makes you feel a bit magical and sit with it for a little while. You can find out what kind of tree it is if you want to. You don't have to. You can just get to know it on your own terms. See what it feels like. See what the leaves look like. See if it drops its leaves. If there's leaves on the floor around you. Yeah, that, that would do. And you're building a relationship with that tree. Connecting to it, it makes you feel better. And who knows, maybe it makes the tree feel better. Give the tree a hug.